But first, protecting your privacy. Chances are you or someone you know could be impacted by a massive data breach at Tampa General Hospital. TGH says that over a period of about two weeks, a criminal group accessed about 1.2 million patients' personal information. This is 10 Tampa Bay at 530. I'm Josh Sidorowitz. And I'm Carolina Lead. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more on what's being done about it and how, with so much awareness about cybersecurity these days, this sort of thing could have happened in the first place. No shortage of concern among those who've at one time or another been to Tampa General Hospital. 1.2 million patient records compromised. That's a lot of people in this region. Eric Crone, with no before security awareness, says, unfortunately, it's not surprising. Hospitals, he says, are constantly being targeted by sophisticated cyber criminals for their wealth of highly personal data. These aren't the kids in the basement drinking Mountain Dew and eating pizza. These, these are very organized and very talented bad actors out there, these cyber criminals. Experts we spoke with say there's no reason to believe TGH's cybersecurity is anything but top notch. It's often, they say, an employee who unwittingly answers a nefarious email or clicks on a link that creates the opportunity for cyber criminals. This is the first uh, healthcare provider that I can think of, whether it's a, a large or small hospital system that's been able to, um, you know, stem the bigger damage that comes along with this sort of attack. That bigger damage, says Checkpoint Software's Chris Nottingham, stems from encryption. TGH was able to detect the activity before the stolen info could be encrypted and then held for ransom, enabling the hospital to continue functioning and caring for patients. Which is really the, the most important thing for, uh, for a hospital system at the end of the day. TGH says it'll be reaching out to those impacted and offering free credit monitoring Cybersecurity experts say those affected should also approach emails and text messages with a good dose of skepticism. Keep an eye on your credit reports, they say, and even consider a credit freeze so that no one can initiate any account activity without your approval. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay.